Hi, this is Scott Kilos here, 6 Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video, yes, I am going to be talking a little bit more about the HA1 Golf and the HA1 UV, but specifically what I'm going to be talking about today is the HA1 Golf. Now, when people noticed that these two radios were virtually identical, and they noticed that their HA1 Golf looks almost exactly like the HA1 UV, a lot of people made the jump that if they're identical externally, they must be identical internally, and that the only difference between the two radios is the firmware that's installed on the radio, and they are correct. So what some folks have already tried is they figured, well, I'll go ahead and try to install the HA1 UV firmware onto the HA1 Golf, and it's not working for them. Don't even bother with that, because here's the good news. All you need to do to convert your HA1 Golf into an HA1 UV is just download the latest HA1 Golf firmware. Once that's done, when the firmware is complete, your radio will still be locked into GMRS and it'll still function as a GMRS radio. The only update you'll see is the splash screen will have changed and then you'll notice right away when the, uh, the actual display comes up and make sure that's up, that now your text has changed. You now have, instead of black font on a blue background, you have white font on a blue background. So that's an improvement already. But you say, I want this thing to be, to be able to do ham radio stuff as well. Well, here's the other good news. Since the firmware has been updated, all you need to do is the exact same unlock sequence as the HA1 UV on the HA1 Golf. And that is, you hold down the PTT and the 8 key as you turn the radio on. And when you do that, it will then unlock the radio and it'll be fully expanded transmit. So it'll do 136 to 174, and I believe it's 400 to 480 uh, megahertz. So you'll have full expanded transmit capability and your HA1 Golf will now do amateur radio stuff, but you don't have what you had before where you had to do the unlock sequence every time you turned the radio on. It just stays that way uh, perpetually. So it will then be, identical to the HA1 UV, completely identical, except actually you get some benefits from going this direction with the HA1 Golf, which is kind of not good for, for islands, to be honest with you. Um, but effectively, the only difference between the radios will be the font on the outer case. Now, what is the improvement? Well, the improvement is once you do your firmware update on your HA1 Golf, it now does everything an HA1 UV will do. The added benefit is you can still use the HA1 Golf programming software with this radio, which you can't with the HA1 UV. You have to use the software that they're providing now. And I'll tell you a quick story on that one. I mentioned during the review that I did not like the CPS that they sent me to program the radio. I thought it was something that they used internally and that they were working on one that had a better user interface for release to the public. Nope. The one that they have out is exactly the same one that they sent me, and it is not good. You can get the job done, but it is it is counter to, counterintuitive in a lot of ways. It's not easy to use. It's clunky. Um, I don't like it. I mean, I don't like it a lot. And the one for the HA1 Golf is vastly superior. I don't know why they didn't bother to just take the HA1 Golf CPS and just convert that over to be able to do the HA1 UV. I would hope that they'll they'll hear this at some point and make that make that correction because the current software that they have out, like I said, it is it is not good. Um, I don't I don't like it even a little bit. So if I was an HA1 Golf user. I would probably be a little bit happier. And one other thing I'll tell you is my HA1 Golf has higher output wattage than the HA1 UV I just got. Now, I don't know if that's something that's carrying over to the new HA1 Golfs that people are buying, but I do know that this one tested at a higher output rating than the one that the Red of us had sent me. So if you're a happy owner of an HA1 Golf and you want to be able to do HA1 UV stuff, and I know I've said those acronyms are way, way too many times, um, you can. So I just wanted to get that out there because there's a little bit of confusion going on right now. So just to reiterate, install the current HA1 Golf software onto your HA1 Golf and it will then be an HA1 UV. Just remember to do the unlock sequence. I will leave a link in the description to take you to where to find the firmware um, to update your radio on the iLoons Redivis site. I believe it's the iLoons site. And in there, you'll be able to download a zip file 
take that zip file, put it on your computer, extract the files, and you're going to find an updater tool in there. Install the updater tool or open the updater tool, and it's a pretty simple process from that point forward. By default, the correct firmware file will already be in the dialog box for that. So the only thing you'll need to do uh, once you've hooked your radio up to the computer is simply press the update button. And when you do, all you have to do at that point is hold down the PTT and the side side key one. So that's the one directly beneath the PTT. So you hold those two down, turn the radio on after you've pressed update, the screen will go black, your LED will be solid, and you can watch on the screen, it'll show the, the, the actual um, sequence of, of the update. You can follow along with that until it's done. Once it's done, it tells you it's complete, turn everything off, unplug the radio, test it, and everything should be fine. And you'll find, um, one other thing I'll point out too, um, and just to, again, to, to show you how, I, how identical these are, so let's see if I can do this. So like I said, your splash screens now will be the same. Your displays will be the same and they'll match perfectly. Additionally, the menus will be exact. So like I say, when, when I say that these things are exactly the same once the firmware update is done, I mean it. Um, so I have, uh, I think I've talked on this subject enough. I just wanted to get that out there real quick because there is a bit of confusion and people are trying to drive the wrong firmware into their radio. And if I did use the term software instead of firmware at some point throughout the video, please forgive me. I think we all know what I was talking about. So I will thank you for watching and for listening. This is Scott Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee from Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.